Hello and welcome to this quick introduction to the video series Why Can I Never Have Enough VCAs? Very often when people are getting into modular synthesizers and are asking for advice, the phrase You can never have enough VCAs gets thrown around. Of course the response to this dogmatic statement is usually Why can I never have enough VCAs? This is a bit trickier to answer than you might expect, so this video tutorial series was born. Fair warning, after watching this series you may want to buy more VCAs. So view at your own discretion. Of course, to understand why you can never have enough VCAs, you need to know what a VCA is and what it can do. VCA stands for Voltage Controlled Amplifier or Voltage Controlled Attenuator. We will get to the difference between these later. There are many different types of VCAs with different feature sets, but the basic common function is to dynamically change volume in the range of zero to unity. When it comes to sound synthesis and sound design with a synthesizer, the, there are three fundamental aspects you have to keep in mind at all times. These are pitch, timbre, and amplitude, or volume. Yes, amplitude or volume is one of the three fundamental aspects of any sound. And the VCA gives you control over that. So you can see why no synthesizer would be complete without dynamic amplitude control. Most, if not all, synthesizers come with a final VCA controllable by an envelope so you can sculpt the volume. All sounds have a beginning, an end, a middle, some are percussive, some are long and drawn out. And this is what you use an envelope and a VCA for. Now this is all fine and you may be thinking at this point, oh, I only need one VCA per voice in my synthesizer then. This would be wrong. Besides this most commonly known usage of the VCA and its association with a typical envelope, there are many, many other uses for the VCA and I will try to cover these uses in the following series of videos. There is tremolo. Tremolo is when volume dynamically comes in and goes out quickly, as if vibrating. This is usually achieved by patching an LFO into a VCA. Tremolo is a constant low fading in and out of volume. This can be used to replicate flute sounds among other things. A siren is, an, is another obvious example. You would preferably use two VCAs to make such a sound. One controlled by LFO and another controlled by an envelope. There is AM or amplitude modulation. This is similar to tremolo except it happens in the audio range. When you have a sound called the modulator at audio range pitch, modulate the amplitude of another sound at the audio range pitch called the carrier. This will have very complex altering effects on the carrier and is a synthesized type in its own right, like a FM synthesis or subtractive synthesis. If this makes no sense to you, don't worry, we will get to that later. We can however hear this now by moving this LFO into audio range. AM synthesis. Then there is overdriving. Overdriving, clipping, distortion, saturation. Many VCAs have different types of response to overdriving and give a different tone and timbre. So for this reason alone, having a few in your arsenal could be a good idea. Then of course there is compression. A rudimentary compressor can be made out of a VCA and an envelope. We can of course complicate this and make a very elegant comp compression circuit by adding a few other modules. But you need the VCA, compression 
is a type of dynamic amplitude control. We can see this here if we bring in a drum beat. You can hear the kick. Gating is another method. This is where you run audio through a VCA and rhythmically turn it on and off. I can demonstrate this here with the beat. There is of course also mixing in stereo and dynamic stereo. As you will now undoubtedly understand, a few VCAs in series paired with a summing mixer will quickly become a dynamic mixing tool. And for stereo operation you need at least two. So now you are thinking, okay, so maybe I need a few VCAs in my system. But the plot thickens. We have left out one of the most powerful aspects of the VCA in a modular synthesizer and that is to dynamically alter the volume of control voltages. Now this is where a lot of people get confused, especially people just getting started with modulars. A simple example would be in an FM patch, where you patch the modulating frequency through a VCA before hitting the carrier and then dynamically bring the modulation in and out. I have patched this up here. As you can hear, the frequency modulation comes in dynamically. Now of course we can add to this Thank you for watching.